Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CJOB video. Today I will cover the Reason Mask module in UE5 Niagara and how to use that in Blueprint also, like this effect. So let's start this tutorial and if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe. If you like with this video, like, share and comment. Let's start this. First of all, subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So in this video, we will cover the Reason Mask module in UE5 Niagara and what is Reason Mask is actually if you have like some particles uh, like this, maybe you have red particles. Let me make it a little bigger. Okay, you have red particle and then you have a reason mask like it's maybe sphere and in sphere those particles turn green or maybe they turn bigger or anything. So you have a mask. So in the under the mask you use particle with a different behavior, different color, size, shape and out of the mask they have different color, size, shape. Okay, so this is what it does and I have already some tutorials like this where i'm using the reason mask but i created that myself in the scratch pad uh, just a sphere reason mask but here if you go to the niagara and take the fountain fx and here we have the reason mask if you go to here down mask reason mask in here we have a sphere box plane slab i'll show you how these things works so let me just turn off my post in particles okay and let's say you have a box location and maybe 500 500 and maybe zero and you don't have any velocity and gravity so the particles are spawning on a box that doesn't have z axis so it's like a planar and you can increase the particle so let's make the gpu okay and let's say you have like 30000 particles and then these turns white so if here in the update i take the color and then i take the lerp so i have now i can use two colors maybe red and green and let's decrease the alpha so depending on the LERP factor, if I make it 1, it will use the end color that is the green. If I make this 0, it will use the color red. If 0.5, it will try to merge these two. Okay, so I want a mask so I can use these two colors according to that. So we have this reason mask and it has these shapes. So let's say you have the sphere shape. And if you go here and see what it writes, it writes these outputs. So we have this float value reason mask that we can use. So in the color and lerp, if I search the mask and we have this reason mask float. And when I take that, you can see we have a spherical thing and these two color divided between two because mask is what? It is a black and white thing. Always the mask is a black and white which has some gray value for the faded for the for the fall off okay so basically in the here you have this mask you can also take the box we have this box and we have the size of the box also and the, we have the fade so we want to make it sharp or fade it okay that's really cool thing and then we have a planar so what is planar so planar has the origin that is the simulation portion that is a zero so if i make the offset like one it is white if i make it minus one it turns red okay so the planar is working like uh, you have these particles on z and this is your planar so all the particles above the planar you can you can use the different settings and all the particles below the planar you can use the different size anything maybe size maybe color maybe uh, maybe shape action material anything okay this is the planar and what is slab slab is basically 
this planar has just a z is zero, but the, in the slab you have some thickness. So maybe this. So now this is like a box, but it doesn't have x y. It has a z. So maybe you can use different property with these particle, and you can use the fade from here to here, from center to the top, from center to the bottom. So this is slab. I'll show you how it works. So let's say if your box location has like 100 thickness and now you can see how slab is working so if slab is zero it is like a planar and you can increase it so there's a thickness in them maybe 10 okay so this is the slab so basically uh, how you can use it one example is this color okay and second example is uh, let me make it zero and also uh, you can rotate it so here we have offset you can move this box okay and you can also rotate it so let's say you have uh, like this long rectangle you can rotate it and you can also animate it if i break this and z if i multiply it with h so now if i play uh, let me decrease the speed you can see that box is now rotating and you can use anything here like you can use velocity so if you have velocity and down here and you lurk this velocity and in a you have zero in b you have like 100 and in alpha now velocity is working on all particles so in alpha if you search the mask so it will only work on the green particles now cool and you can make this longer like this and even if you want uh, like to uh, scale down the particle over life only the green particle you can do that so if you have the size and you are using this curve so particle is scaling down green particles but also the red particles can you see that red particles also scaling down but i want that only for my green particle so what we can do, we can lurk this, then in the B we can use the edge. So this curve will work on this cur uh, normalized edge. And if we use A, it will not work. So basically we can use the mask here. So now you will notice the green particle, let it come, the green particle is scaling down, but the red particle not scaling down. Okay. So likewise, you can also use the curl noise and again the lerp and remember the B value is for the green particle. Just remember that and just connect your things and see. No, it should be uh, 0 and 200. The B value is for green particles. You can make this 10. Cool. So these are the basic example I have shown you the velocity, the curl noise, the color and the size, uh, how you use these reasons and you can use the box, sphere, planar slab. Okay. So this is very useful, very handy. So now you have a control on your particle depending on a mask. So like you can use a box and that you can connect with the player or anything and when you move that player or anything, those particles will have the curl noise. Okay, so like we have this box maybe 100, 100, okay. And we have this offset and let's make this offset a uh, user parameter, right? And this name is offset. Let's save this and I'll make this local and let's take a new level. And if I play, we don't have character yet, but in the world setting, if I use the third person, we have now this player. Okay, so basically I can use this character. Okay, so let's make a blueprint so in the here i'll go to the blueprint and let's move this fx to the viewport 
on the zero. And let's make this dark little darker, this scene little darker. So you can see your particles at least. Okay. So now in here, if I use like cast third person, or you can do one more thing uh, that is, uh, or let it be, you can cast the third person and then connect it here. And get the get skeletal mesh. You can just uh, search the mesh here. Get the mesh. And then get location. Okay, and then select your FX from the viewport and uh, take the reference from not this, your FX. Take the reference of your FX and set Niagara variable vector because we have offset X, Y, and Z. And this will go here and name of the of parameter is offset. Okay, and this will connect here. It has error because of this object. So what you can do, get all actor from the class and you can use uh, that blueprint, uh, which we have this character, select this and you can use that here and then get copy and just do it here. Okay. Compile doesn't have any error and let's play. So you can see particles now only red and when I move here, nothing is actually uh, happening because of uh, the position because if you'll see here, the character, if I select that mesh, this is the location of uh, that character. So let me just try to increase the size of this, maybe 200, 200, 500, 500, 500. Okay. And let's try this now. So you can see it's working. But, oh, I have, uh, I have this rotation here. So let's break this up. Okay. And this should be world position. And oh. it's still not working. Uh, it's kind of weird. Let me check the FX name, parameter name. This is offset. You can copy this name and paste it here. Okay. Okay. Because we are just using the play, it just it will work the once, but tick will work always. Now it's working. So there's the silly mistake, but you can see now it's working, and you can now reduce the settings. Like you can use the sphere. And it has just 100 radius. So where is my particle? We have these things. And this is very sharp. So I will use maybe this uh, follow. Cool. And you can also do one thing uh, that is uh, if you make that red particle completely transparent. So now it feels like uh, you have just particle coming from the ground. Cool, this is also a cool thing. But here's the issue. You have these particles that is uh, now this effect is very heavy. So you want these particles to delete also. So you can do one thing. 
take a kill and take the lurk. Need to compare the other float and you can use your mask and if these two are equal to zero they should kill the particles now there is no particle if you select you have just those particles which are have the green value cool Now we can like increase particle even more maybe and then I'll make this a little brighter and maybe life two and five. Cool. And also I'll increase the velocity maybe to one red. And yeah that's it so i hope now it's clear to you how this region work how you can use it in the blueprint and these things so thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye